Go. Welcome to the Virtus. We are here about to get it washed so we can go and do a nice drive and hopefully get some photographs. I, think oh, I don't know what this guy's yelling because I, I don't speak Portuguese. I think he went strong. Let's go. Go through the... That's... Okay. Uh, maybe not. Do exactly what I was doing. Yeah, like why would you... <laughs> I totally no, no, understand no, no, Portuguese. No, 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 no. I don't know what <laughs> <laughs> We can do a joint V Geek Jamie Orr review of the Virtus uh, slash Australia slash North Carolina review. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that doesn't have right, Let's do a launch control and a speed bump. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like <laughs> the second chirp. Everyone's real quiet. <laughs> There's a Severo um, Harris, two of them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. We may have to uh, yeah. come Drop back to this. Drop a pin. Ah, we're in data. Right now. I gotta be in, on the Wi Fi. So. Oh, damn. What you, did you see, Jamie? I saw a Severo pickup hearse, just like my old Audi 80 hearse. And it was spectacular. He's getting, of, he's getting you with the left turn. He swerved to the left <laughs> with his left turn on forever. Oh dear, no, he just seems to be just <laughs> like his steering. I think because of his camera. Oh, there we go. The, the turn signal burnt out. <laughs> and so we won't talk about that again. Um, so back to the Virtus. Uh, look at this snazzy cell phone holder. Um, it is original, but boy, it does not seem very well attached. <laughs> I was told that this is a legal requirement in Brazil on new cars. Which does make me wonder if it's available to buy, if we can find the part number. Uphill behind an air cooled beetle. Can the three cylinder keep up? And we are in Brazil, so there are just horses and dogs running around on the streets. There we go, there's one right there. <laughs> on cue. Just just a dog. Ready? At least it looks like a nice fat, fat dog. Yeah, it looks like a happy dog. And look at this two beetles and a bay window truck. Just, just randomly. And then and another like beetle. Oh, we made it to the top of the hill behind the slammed beetle. Look at this dude's loading up his Brasilia inside. <laughs> Very appropriate.
do you think about the Virtus, Adam? It feels like size-wise, like a Mark IV, yeah. but it has the virtual dash and most of the controls of like an MQB Mark Seven. Yeah, just slightly simplified. Yeah, I'm still the size and the interior options. I'm still surprised that they don't bring this car to the U.S. Okay, yeah. so I definitely think it would sell. Would you yeah. buy one? No, no. But <laughs> I'm not in the market for a family four-door sedan. Yeah. No family. No. But uh, I think it would actually sell well because I yeah. would assume the price point would be even lower than the Jetta. Yeah. And the Jetta is already one of the least expensive cars in its class. Yeah. And then oh. this maybe makes room for them to bring a three-door yeah. Yeah. and a Polo GTI. That I might buy. Yeah. How's the handling? It seems to do pretty well. I mean, it seems very much like the other MQB cars in stock configuration. Yeah. It's a three cylinder, so it doesn't have a lot of weight. Yeah. But it's a very uh, very good basic car, I think. Yeah. How's the back seat, Ben? Nice and roomy. Roomy, yeah. yeah. No grab handles, though. Okay, that's cheap, yeah. But good, nice and roomy, lots of knee room. It was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It's just so cool. The, these cars, this car was built, I think, in 1985, 84. It blows my mind. Just so cool. Factory air conditioning. And one of 22 made total by Volkswagen in Brazil before they handed the production off to, I believe, Solar. Uh, just, just incredible. Super fun. Do you think about the Virtus, Jamie? Where is he? No. The Virtus. Oh, the Virtus. The yeah. Virtus is exactly as a new Volkswagen should be. Yeah. Tight steering. Um, the three-cylinder is honestly a little bit rough at times. Yeah. It seems like there's a if it's a four-cylinder that there's an engine fault. Yeah. Um, I, I, I wouldn't say. I think a normal person will never notice, but if, if you're an enthusiast or you, you know engines, it just feels like a little bit of a misfire. I almost thought when I didn't realize it was a three cylinder that it was doing, uh, to save fuel economy, it was not engaging or not running on all cylinders on purpose. And then when I opened the engine bay, I found out that it's a three cylinder, yeah. which is also a compliment. If, uh, if you're driving a three-cylinder turbo and you think that it's a four-cylinder turbo, then that is a big, big compliment to the engineers of the three-cylinder. Yeah. 